The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development. With a magazine and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives, at The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. Bill Walsh. Bill Walsh is the CEO and founder of business coaching and venture capital firm Power Team International and author of the best-selling book, The Obvious. Bill Walsh's passion is to empower entrepreneurs and business owners to create massive success by teaching them what it takes to build a successful company. Bill has spent over two decades working with startup and major global brands to increase their sales, productivity, and overall success. As a global speaker, Walsh is known for inspiring audiences while delivering practical content that people can implement immediately for better results. My work with Bill. Well, I've worked with Bill several times. I had the opportunity to speak at many of his events all around the US. He, he runs the Business Expo uh, around the US. But, you know, he, he's a phenomenal speaker. Bill is, has been voted one of the best uh, business coaches in the US uh, for years. He's a phenomenal speaker. He's a great guy who has a phenomenal access to all sorts of people, all sorts of great people that can connect you, enhance you and build and improve your brand. So if you're interested in finding and, and learning from one of the top speakers in the industry, I highly recommend you listen to Bill Walsh. Thank you so much. Born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, former trader, real estate investor, and startup expert turned venture capitalist and global success coach. He has personally mentored and worked with some of the sharpest entrepreneurs and companies in the world, including Brian Tracy, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Les Brown, Vic Cohen, and billion-dollar firms like the MGM Resort Properties in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the billion-dollar powerhouse Lotomatic. He has helped take companies from zero to over $500 million. Some public, some private, and everything in between. He is the host of the nationally syndicated radio show, The Raymaker Show, and has been featured in a number of personal development movies, including Pass It On and Embrace the Journey. He loves to work with entrepreneurs and small business owners. One of the student's projects hit the top 1,000 websites in the world in less than 12 months with over 300,000 customers and revenues of just over $2 million per month. How many people would like to learn the secrets of that success story? He has just completed his new book, The Spirit of a Rainmaker, which is certain to be a bestseller. He travels relentlessly, speaking to small and large groups, and shares specifically what it takes to build a successful company. His company, Power Team International, sponsors and hosts more than 100 events per year, including the small business expos and super conferences that have included superstars like T. Harv Eker, Bob Proctor, and even former President Bill Clinton. His passion is to guide individuals, entrepreneurs, and companies to achieve their dreams. He is one of the most connected guys on the planet. He has a billion-dollar Rolodex and has been interviewed on major networks like NBC, ABC, and Fox. He's the creator of the Rainmaker Summit Business Success Program, which has helped entrepreneurs worldwide find their passion, become laser-focused, and build their ultimate two-year success plans. How many people here today can use a comprehensive two-year success plan? He is currently ranked in the top 25 speakers in the area of motivation and inspiration. He's the CEO founder of one of the top venture capital business coaching firms in the world, Power Team International. Get ready for some amazing content on how to succeed in business, connect with millionaires, and discover the secrets to quantum success. He will share with you specifically what it takes to create massive success in today's global business marketplace. Everybody, stand to your feet and welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Bill Walsh. Come on now. Hello, 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 everybody stand up. Come on, guys. How's everyone doing? Thanks, young man. Appreciate it. Do me a favor. Turn left, right, and tell someone you look good. I didn't say to sit down. Stand back up. Now, nice and loud, tell somebody you look good. Now, turn left, right one more time and say, but I look better. <laughs> How many here actually own a business? Own a business? Wow. How many are entrepreneurs? Awesome. And how many are in transition? 
And how many are looking for new ways to make money? New ways to make money, yes? Come on, stand up. You can play Falafel for 10 more minutes. It won't hurt you none. On the front row, you guys right here, stand up. Come on, crew, stand up, play full out. <laughs> Listen, I flew all night to be here with you guys. Does that make sense? And I'm happy to see the sunshine in London. Give that a round of applause. Because you know that's awesome, right? Say, I have. No, come on, loud. Say, I have. Big things to do. Now turn left, right, and see you don't know who you're standing next to. <laughs> see, because so often we allow people to steal our dreams, yes or no? Yes. Not in this room because you have all positive energy, right? Yeah. How many here would actually like to make some money, write your book, and get paid to speak all over the world? Hands up high and say, that's me. That's me. So do me a favor, just shake your finger like this. Just one finger. Bring it right to your temple. Now rub your temple. Come on, everyone do this. Play flawed. It's free. It costs you nothing. Now hold it there. Say, I have great intellectual property. Say, I am going to monetize my intellectual property. Now turn left to right and say, hmm. That's interesting. You see, my good friend, he wrote a book. He was laughed at by 143 publishers. They told him he was stupid. He was dumb. Nobody would buy his book. Don't even write the book. It's so dumb. They wrote a book called Chicken Soup for the Soul. And my friend Mark Victor Hansen, the business partner, he sold literally about 500 million books. Is that pretty good? So turn left, right, and tell some believe in yourself and nobody else does. How many of you are also a little crazy? Because you're the ones I'm looking for. We run a venture fund, we do business programs, speaker programs, crazy lifestyle events, but I love the crazy ones. Say I am. A little crazy. Now turn left to right and say it's the crazy ones that make all the money. Say I am the only one that is willing to work 100 hours a week so I don't have to work 40. To generate more leads, more sales, have more fun, make more money. Would that be okay? Yeah. We'll talk about writing your books. Yeah. We'll talk about getting your business growing. And we'll also talk about how to get paid as a public speaker. Would that be okay too? Yeah. So how many here actually have a business? Can you? Is the PowerPoint working or not working? If it's not working, I don't really need it. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does work. Okay, good. You can, uh, that's fine. So one of the things that I learned as an entrepreneur, there's a few things you have to do to make more money. Would that be okay? So I want to tell you this, that... I'm looking for about 20 entrepreneurs here today that will work one to two hours a week with me and our team for a whole year to build a better business. Would that be okay? Now there's a couple caveats that we have that if you make more money, you have to give back to a local charity. Would that be okay? Yes. Not your money, but your time. Would that be okay? Yes. Believe it or not, they need your excellence, not your money. Is that okay too? Yes. So there's a couple things that we do that's different. We believe in social impact as the currency of the future. I get the honor, and I do call it the honor to travel all over the world. Um, we roughly get about 80,000 people a year to our events in the U.S. And I'm so honored to be here in London. Uh, I love this city. It's one of my favorite cities on the planet. Uh, they call New York the melting pot. I call London the melting pot. Yes or no? Yeah. It's the only place you can go to dinner. I was at dinner at Nobu, and on one side I had the girl from Mission Impossible, and on the other side I had uh, some more celebrities. But I had six different languages going on all at the same time. And I love that. But I'll give you a few tips right now to make more money, have more fun. Say, make more money. Yeah. Say have more fun. Have more fun. Say have more, fun, have more fun. And you'll make more money. Make more so turn left, right, and tell somebody Cardi B. Like, who the hell is Cardi B? She's pretty big in the U.S., pretty big around the world now, right? If you know Migos or Drake or some of those guys. See, I only know those guys because my kids are 27, 25, and 20. So we get to go to all the coolest concerts and meet all the fun, uh, these rock stars that travel the world. But I'll give you a few things right now that if you'll just do these three things, they're free and legal. Is that okay? Yeah. To definitely make more money, have more fun. So here's number one. Turn off the TV. Their goal is to keep you stupid, yes or no? Yes. Here's number two. How many guys know some negative people? <laughs> How many guys know some really negative people? How many guys live with that person? Oh, well, there's some, there's some truth in here. I'm not, listen, I'm not a relationship coach. I'm not a life coach or personal development or uh, health coach, none of that stuff, but I'm a damn good business coach. So today we're going to do something crazy. It's called the cell phone cleanse. So you're going to take out your cell phones and erase all the negative people out of your phone. All of them. They all got to go. What's your first name? Sandra. Sandra. So you've reached Sandra's cell phone line today. Your call is very important to me. 
We're making some major change in my life right now. And if I don't call you back, you're obviously one of them. <laughs> you're like, I can't do that. Please understand that if you don't get rid of some of the old, you'll never make room for some of the new. Does that make sense? And the third thing I'll challenge you to do today for the next 10 days, and then you can hit me on Instagram and say, Bill, this was a great idea or a terrible idea. I want you to go to this website called YouTube. How many of you guys are familiar with YouTube? Hopefully everybody, right? And I want you to type this name in. His name is Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N. How many here have never heard of Jim Rohn? Hands up high, it's okay, see? Most of people have never heard. Who's heard of a guy named Tony Robbins? Tony's first employer was a guy named Jim Rohn. So I just need you to go to YouTube and watch 10 minutes every morning of Jim Rohn, just for 10 days. And I want you to hit me on Instagram at, at Bill Walsh, write this down, at Bill Walsh 360, and say, Bill, great idea, Jim Rohn's horrible. I know the answer is going to be a great idea because he's been training people for decades. He passed away about 10 years ago now, but his, his legacy will live on forever. How many of you would like to build a legacy that lives on forever? Say, that's me. So let me just tell you quickly a bit of my story. Uh, born and raised in Chicago. Uh, we didn't come from a lot of money. I wish I could tell you I was a trust fund kid. I was not. I, but I had two great parents. You know, and I think in life and business, if you can have one great parent, it's a huge blessing. Or one person in your life that really helps you along the way of, of learning the basic things to have even more success. And I was honored to have two great parents that taught me about working hard and never quitting. Right down, working hard and never quitting. And I learned from them the fact that um, if you're persistent, you'll have all kinds of opportunities always show up. But the true rule for success, write this down, is persistence plus failure equals success. I've been broke too, everybody. Just so you know, I've been broke and wealthy. Turn left, right, and say broke sucks. But you'll find who your real friends are, yes or no. It's in the toughest times of your life that the real people walk in as all the fakes have already left. It was funny, about a year ago, around Christmas time, a good friend of mine, he sent me a note through Facebook, and it said, I'm going through a real tough time, can I borrow a couple thousand dollars? He said, I sent this out to 50 of my closest friends, because he, he's pretty big, makes a lot of money, and I wasn't sure what happened. I said, uh, first of all, I said, is this really you? Because you get some note, you know, locked up in some jail in some city or somebody needs $2,000 or some crap, right? So I texted him. I said, hey, do you really need some money? He said, yeah. He said, I'm really in a tough bind. Um, could you send me a couple thousand dollars? And I said, uh, absolutely. I went and I said, give me your PayPal address, and I sent him $2,000. This was on Monday. By Friday, he never took the money. For complimentary resources from my book, my complimentary e-course, The Power of the Question, or recommended reads, go to www.thequestion slash resources. For more information on my coaching or mentoring, go to www.bernardo-moya.com. So I'm texting him, like, hey, what's up? He said, call me. So I called him, I said, I thought you needed some money. He said, no, I never really need the money. He said, I sent the message to 50 people. 36 are no longer in my life. Ooh, right? You always know the real people in your life, not during the good times, but during the tough times. And I'm telling you as an entrepreneur today, you're gonna, if you're gonna build something epic, you're gonna have tough times, is that all right? But that's okay, because now you have a big team with you, would that be okay too? So sure enough, after that, um, out of high school and college, I became a trader, traded currency for 10 years, did turnarounds for 10 years, come and fix companies, take it public, sell it, close it, sell the assets. And around the year 2000, I was burnt out. Who's ever been burnt out? And I wrote this down, I said, there has to be more. And so I took two years off, because sometimes you have to check out to check back in. And I, and I wrote this down, what are you great at? And I'm gonna ask you that today. What are you great at? Write down right now, what are you great at? What's your superpower? What's your super gift as an entrepreneur, as a business owner? Whatever that superpower is, if you can learn to tap into it, and it serves a big market where there's money, and you'd probably do it for free, you're gonna get paid like you've never been paid before in your life. So I knew that I was really good. If you told me the vision for your business, the idea for your business, I could land the team, the systems, the money, the marketing, and literally launch that business. Because I was really good. I did 40 some different IPOs and different growth companies. And um, I figured out who has the best in class, who has the best in class product. So I found a company in Arizona called GoDaddy. How many of you guys are familiar with GoDaddy? 
now you are. Back then, you'll, most people never heard of them. And we became a marketing partner for their web platform. I found another company in Utah called Franklin Covey. I was a big fan of a guy named Stephen Covey. They wrote a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So we bundled a website with a get, you know, get organized platform. How many guys could use some help with getting organized? How many, have, how many guys have clutter in your life? <laughs> Who wants to take the clutter test? Just take me out to your car. Just show me the trunk of the car. It's like, no, 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 right? Because if the trunk is cluttered, what else is cluttered? And sure enough, um, we put together this little package with a business plan. I didn't have the million dollars for the marketing. So I searched and I figured out um, who are the people that, and this is so important you get this, if there's one thing you take away from my whole talk, this will help you immensely with your business. Find out the influencers that play at a high level that are connected to your customer and do everything you can to create value for them first. So I looked at all the biggest names in personal development, all these big seminar companies, and we were fortunate, we got one big company in New York, David Marketing Partner. And in 20 months, we're in 20 countries. So if you're in the UK, you know, John Lee and Vincent, these guys are rock stars of Wealth Dragons, they do a great job. Uh, they always have great people, and, and they're always about helping other people. So you find the rock stars that are connected to your customer. It's just like this. Is there anybody here that's an author? Any authors here? So what happens if Oprah Winfrey says she loves your book? Is the bestseller, yes or no? Have you sent a copy to Oprah yet? So what are you waiting for? Her address is public, right? So the idea is that find the influencers, create value first, expect nothing in return, it generated us millions of dollars. Does that make sense? I didn't have the money back then, but I had a willpower and a belief. How many here have a belief? How many of you guys have some great stuff? How many want to monetize it? How many of you think they should have their own membership site paying you? We're going to teach you guys how to get paid while you sleep. Would that be all right? Because here's what Warren Buffett said. He said, if you, if you don't get paid while you sleep, you'll work every day for the rest of your life. How many here would actually like to be part of an incubator group right here in London for a year? Put your hands up high. Let me see. Would you put the work into it? What if I told you you would hate our team for 90 days? Would that be okay? I mean, you would hate us. Would that be all right? Because the first 90 days are the toughest. Everybody wants to get in shape. Nobody wants to go where? To the gym ever. And so by 05, we launched an incubator course called Rainmaker. And the whole idea is from the venture side, we wanted to find great deals. So we'd have them come for a whole, whole weekend and listen, work on vision and mission and path and purpose and your plan and your book and your legacy and your membership site and get all your social media funnels done, get all your sales funnels done, figure out what it looks like to really have a good loyalty program, how to have a good mobile funnel so you can optimize mobile because I believe mobile is the future. Everything is going to What are these things called? Anybody have one of these? What's this called? No, this is a money machine. What's it called? I'm telling you these things can make it rain money because everybody has one and you have a conduit to them. Does that make sense? Just create some value. How many here know you have some great value up here? Who'd like to start monetizing it? Let me see, the big, in the back, in the back, right? See, if you have a gift and you don't share it, you think you're cheating yourself. You're not cheating yourself. You're cheating all those amazing customers. So we put the entire program together. We put in all these things on business plans, success strategies, all the audios, all the videos, all the software. And then of course we added in get organized. Build KPIs around your, in other words, build a real business. I, I can tell you today, I don't have any get rich quick secrets. I just like get rich. How many of you guys like they can just get rich? Turn left, right, tell someone, get rich. And then the funny thing after that is that um, we launched that program and it began to sell worldwide. And we began to incubate and harvest companies out of there. Because I knew for a fact we could find great committed people at a much higher level. And I'll, and I'll tell you today, um, the entire program is like 3,000 pounds if you do three payments or 2,000 pounds if you make one payment. Does that make sense? You know, there's no, you don't got to wait till the end and jump around. This is the deal, right? It's a couple grand for the whole year. You have to have an accountability partner. We want you to come with someone that's either a business partner or spouse. And you got to commit to the work. Is that okay too? And if you make more money, you got to go and give back to charity. Is that okay also? Because if you're not willing to give charity back, then don't come. I, I don't really care. At the end of the day, my life's not going to change. I'll, I'll jump on a G4 and go right back home, right? I love the fact that I can be here and serve. Um, Bernardo Morio has become a really good friend. I was so honored he came over to the U.S. We brought like 10 or 15 speakers from the U.S. to come over and be a part of this event. Because I do believe that this is the age of the entrepreneur. And sure enough, after that, we launched a venture fund, away private masterminds. We began to put together uh, speaker programs. We ran the Inspiration Conference in the U.S. 
Um, 2010, we put together a platinum speaker course. We always want to speak and sell from stage. Does anybody here want to speak and sell from stage at all? Anybody got a really big message? I'd love to talk to you guys afterwards when I'm done. We're hosting the party tonight. We're the sponsor for the party, so definitely come in. Always sponsor great events. If I could tell you a great use of resources is put your money where your mouth is. Put your money there and, and begin to sponsor great people that, do, that are doing epic work. It'll pay you back a hundredfold. And, uh, and after that, we began to launch our big internet marketing camps in Vegas and Chicago twice a year. We do this huge party in my house this summer. Um, two days of internet marketing. The tickets are like 1000 to 5000 for a ticket. Who'd like to come as my guest? You were the first one to raise your hand, I think, over there. You stand up. Stand up. You win. Give a round of applause. Come up here. You get a ticket to our Ultimate Wealth Camp. Is that pretty cool? It's a big party at my house. You don't stay at my house. Is that clear? But, uh, but I appreciate it. What's your name? I'm, I'm Rio. Bill. Rio, that's awesome. So good to meet you. If you'll go see, see that guy right there drinking the coffee. Jay, raise your hand. Yeah, go to Jay. He'll get you a ticket. Thank you. You're, who else wants to come to the party? Oh, yeah, that was fast. See, I like her. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I brought some really cool gifts for you guys. And uh, sure enough, in 2012, I was asked to invest a million dollars in this idea for these expos in, in the United States. My partner said, that's stupid. People don't go to expos. I'm like, well, looks like they're coming to this one, right? And it was only in two cities back then. And uh, sure enough, I believe in the guys. We became the titanium sponsor. And six years later, or seven years later now, um, 80,000 attendees a year. We now have companies like Google and Shark Tank and you know Bank of America and HSBC and AT&T and T-Mobile, all as main sponsors. And of course, once again, later on, the partners come in and said, oh, that was such a great idea. How many of you guys have friends like that? <laughs> See, if you, got, if you want the truth uh, when it comes to business, when you start a business, like, oh, you're so dumb, that's so stupid, you're going to make money in real estate, that doesn't work, you're doing Forex, you're doing this, that's never going to work. You make a million dollars in anything. You go from idiot to genius overnight, yes or no? <laughs> and the same negative people come back and say, oh, I knew you could do it. <laughs> so you didn't say that before. <laughs> So after that, we started buying companies. Um, we got really heavily involved with charitable contribution. We put a TV show together called Give with some partners in New York. We won a couple Emmys the first year where they'd go to these charitable places and actually do like, like almost like undercover boss for charities. And we had uh, one of the Bush daughters was involved. And it was just an amazing, amazing experience. And then now we're opening success centers. We committed $5 million to open centers. These are like entrepreneur hubs. We have Zen rooms, media rooms, boardrooms. Um, no offices, imagine that, no offices in these centers. They're all designed for entrepreneurs to collaborate. So please write this down. The future is about collective collaboration. For more information on collaborating, partnering, sponsoring, supporting, or speaking at any of our events, or finding out more about our legacy clubs, go to www.thebestyou.co. If you're interested in finding out more about the amazing content we have, please go to www.thebestyou.online and get your 14-day free trial now. Collective collaboration. We plan to open a center here in 2020, so we're super excited about London because I love London. I think it's a launch pad for all of Europe, and uh, couldn't be more excited. About eight to ten thousand square foot centers, and uh, people get to come and collab on business deals. We do venture nights once a month. We do lunch and learns every week for free. Is that pretty cool? Because I think in business today, you've got to extend the value first. Yes or no? If you want to make more money, and then of course. Um, now I can tell you that we're super excited. Um, we launched a speaker program called Icon for those who want to become better speakers. Uh, we now bundle it into our accelerator program. It's our one-day program. It'll be here in London along with our business incubator in London also. I believe the dates are like March 21, somewhere around there, March 22, something like that. It's three and a half days total with the business course and the public speaker course. But the public speaker is very much about how to get over the fear of public speaking. Does that make sense? But it's also how to build a list. It's also how to get paid to speak. And you literally build your talk in one day. Is that kind of fun? Now, here's the deal with the speaker program, which is included in the accelerator program, is that if we put you on a stage and you make 10000 would you give me two? So the idea is that we get 20% if we book you somewhere. Now, if they book you again, would you guys be okay to pay me again? How many promise never to get amnesia? <laughs> Say, no amnesia. Listen, we have million-dollar speakers that somehow forget to send us a check. Is that crazy? <laughs> So we send them a real friendly gram and they get around to it. It's really cool, you have a really gifted young speaker here today. Uh, this young man uh, is just traveling the world. He's a vegan expert, he's a vegan coach. He sells books and tapes and programs. And, and I tell you that if this kid can do it, you can do it too. Dan, you must in that stand up, buddy. Come up on stage for one second. Come on, hurry up, quickly, quickly. I only got a little bit of time. Come on up here, buddy. 
Now, let me just tell you something. This kid spoke at our event in Chicago over the summer. In 15 minutes, he made almost $2,000. Is that pretty cool? Is that pretty cool? Yes or no? Right? So I love when people tell me, oh, I can't do it. I say, let me show you a video of this kid that got on our stage and just knocked it out of the park. So, and your workshop is what time tomorrow? It's going to be at 3. 3 o'clock. Where at? At the uh, youth speaker. Give him a round of applause. Give it up here, buddy. Give it up. Appreciate you. I think every kid should learn to be an entrepreneur. So part of our programs, all your kids come for free. Is that pretty cool? All your kids are free. Is that awesome? Yes. You enroll, they all come. I don't care if you got seven kids. Bring them all, right? Now, if your kids are 35, they're not kids anymore, yes or no? <laughs> Just saying, you know, it's the ones under 21. I'm still a kid too, but it's the ones that are under 21, right? And so the fun, the fun part about all this is that when I look at business, I look at it like it's a game. Does that make sense? And I want to share a few things with you, and I want to thank the guys that brought this little, this little uh, pad of paper here. This is a serious one, right? But I want to tell you that when I look at most companies, wherever you're at today is what you did for the last two years, yes or no? Yes. How many here are, would like to have some epic increases in many areas of your business, yes or no? Right? Yes. But when I find most companies, they do this, and they flatline. They flatline. And at some point here, you get to something called a turning point. What's it called? Turning point. Because what I find with businesses, they live in a place over here for most of their business career. It's called Busyville. What's it called? Do you ever call your friends, hey, what you doing? I'm busy. I'm like, busy doing what? I don't know, but I'm really busy. I'm like, where do you think you're busy going? And they say, I just need some more motivation. Tell me something. What happens when you motivate idiots? What do you have? <laughs> have you ever thought about that? It's not about motivation. Write this down. It's about inspiration. And to really understand the hockey stick for business, right? You have to know something called, what is your vision? And what teachers never give you, and I'm going to give you hands-on nuts and bolts stuff today you can use, because I, I don't believe theory is going to be the answer for most entrepreneurs. They need money when? Now. Right now. So to hit this little kicker, it's called momentum. What's it called? This is what they never teach, the hockey stick in business. They just don't do it because they've never done it. Believe me when I tell you that you can't learn from someone how to build a million dollar business unless they've ever built a what? Million dollar business or a 10 million or a 50 million or a hundred million dollar business. Because what they're giving you is old news, yes or no? So please write this down and stay with me on this. That stop taking advice, say stop taking advice, stop taking advice. from someone that is more messed up than you. <laughs> Can you guys live by that from today forward, yes or no? Yes. Broke brother-in-law calls with great ideas like, no, 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 stop, stop right now, right? So what I learned was a process over 25 years of helping small business that says, what does it look like? So let me give you what it looks like. Would that be okay? Yes. Are you guys ready? Sam, ready? Ready. First thing here, super important. You have to become an expert in your field, which means stop doing this, everybody, and do this. Get laser focused on one pass. I never say quit your job. I say, keep your job until you double your income on a monthly basis. When you double your income part-time from your business, give you choices, yes or no? Yes. When your boss says you're late for work, you're like, buddy, you're lucky I'm here. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. But that understand, to do that, you've got to get positioned as the expert, and you've got to own the right. So if you're less than five years in a niche, say, I am, I am. an innovator. I am. More than five years, you're an expert. Which that has to be in your positioning, yes or no? So to do this today, we're going to start today. Is that okay? Yes. First thing we're going to do, we're all going to write a book. And we're all going to start today. Is that good? Go to this website called KillerCovers.com. Go to KillerCovers.com. Get a cover done today for your book. Tomorrow, go to Facebook. How many of you guys are on Facebook? How many here want to monetize Facebook like crazy? Once you get your cover back tomorrow, go to Facebook, set up what's called a business page as an author. Business page as an author. Put your photo up there. Cover of your book. For the next six months, nothing but content on the author page. That's your business page. Stop doing your business on your personal page. Does that make sense? Get an author page with real content. So no sales at all. You have to become something called blue check verified. You have to become what's called a public figure. To be a public figure on Facebook, it's about 10,000 followers and real content. Are we clear with that? Because the minute you get to that, you're going to download an app called Creator. What's it called? How many of you guys use Creator today? Wow. Totally free. It's a free app. But you have to be a public figure. 
It basically gives you Facebook Live on steroids, yes or no? Would that be helpful? Because you're gonna learn to do one video per week. So go to this website called zoom.us, get yourself a little Zoom account, it's free. You're gonna record one 10 minute video per week, could you guys do it today, yes or no? Yeah. Give out nothing but content, no sales. After 12 weeks, go to a website called Content Divas. Content Divas. They'll take all of your videos, make a written word. The minute the written word is done, you take killer covers and what you got from Content Divas, go to Google, type this in, print on demand. It'll take you to a company called Amazon. The minute you put that on Amazon, you call your best friend, what's your name again? Sandra, right? So Sandra, could you do me a big favor? Could you buy just one of my books? Yeah. It's brand new. So the minute she buys one book, and buy one for yourself, right? That don't have your friend or family, buy one book, buy one for yourself. You become what's called an Amazon published author. What do you think goes on all your marketing? Amazon published author. It puts you in the top 2% in the world. Because most people never, ever, ever share their legacy. They never share their story. They take their story to the grave. How many here would like to take your story to the world? Say, that's me. How many want to get paid for those downloads every day? Because if you don't, you're crazy. You're leaving so much money on the table. So the minute this happens, right? Now you've got the book cover done. you got the book out there. You go to a website called Upwork. Go to Upwork.com. Hire yourself a virtual admin. They will make calls to get you booked. To go speak about your area of expertise. And this is non-negotiable. I'll give you an example of this. Who's ever seen a movie called The Secret? Yeah. You've, you've ever seen a movie called The Secret? You have? Yeah. Wow, it's kind of crazy. So I wrote a really cool best-selling book called The Obvious. What's it called? Is that kind of neat? Can you tell me how many, this is color covers on the front. How many chapters in the back? Can you count that? 10. I did all 10 chapters in one day. I went to a video machine in LA and I recorded 10 chapters each 10 minutes. I went to Content Divas, got the book published, Amazon bestseller in 30 days. Is that okay? For less than 500 bucks. Say, I want that too. Who would like a copy today? I only got a couple. Who would like one? Would you like one? Oh, no. Don't run. If you're in the back rows, now you come sit up front. Hurry up. Come sit up front. Don't come from the back because they'll all be gone. Here you go. Quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Don't knock it. Stop, stop, stop. Don't knock it over. This young lady's right here. Hang on. Ladies first. Ladies first. All right. That's it. We're done. That's it. They're gone. Man. Short people right there. Oh, she got it. All right. Who else wants one? Oh, yeah, see, I, I, see, we got more, don't worry. You gotta sit right in front. See, you're in the right seat, right? Right up here, high five, yes? So, what that is, just so you know, that's a marketing tool, what's it called? See, because in every one of those, we give away a consult for business, but at the end of the day, how many here would like to have a tool like that for your business? At a cost of less than 65 cents, how much? We call them salesmen, what are they called? Salesmen. How many here would like to learn to get your book published and become an Amazon bestseller? Say, that's me. So you've got to get positioned over here. You have to have a big vision. The first thing I challenge is where do you want to go with your business in three to five years? Where would you like to see your business in three to five years? Write it out. Then once we have that, right, then we build the rest around that. Because if you don't know where you're going, any path will do. And the minute you have a clear vision, you'll be even more inspired. The reason people think you're crazy is because you're on a path of inspiration, yes or no. We call it divine intuition. If your friends think you're nuts, you're probably really, really close to crazy success. Would that be all right? You're dumb, you're stupid. No, I'm not, I'm on path and purpose. Get out of the way. Yes or no? But in addition to this, you gotta be positioned right. So here, no more AOL on your business cards. No more Gmail, no more Yahoo, right? If it says Yahoo on your card, they think you're a what? A Yahoo. They're not going to say that, right? And print good cards. Don't have Vistaprint on the back. Brought to you by Vistaprint. No, no, no. Don't do that anymore, right? Also have good postcards. Have good corporate brochures. Have good literature. Don't skimp on your marketing stuff as an expert. Get your book out there. Have your book with you all the time. When, when does the book travel with you? All the time. Because once again, you'd be surprised. You never know who you're sitting next to. You never know who you're with. You have to realize that everyone is approachable. Who's approachable? Yeah. Say, I am an expert, and I want you to write down in this. Whatever this is right now, write it down for me. I'm an expert in this, whatever this is. What I'll help you stop doing is stop doing all these shiny object ideas and stay focused on one thing. What's your core greatness? How do we monetize that? Because when you focus on your core greatness, you don't gotta guess. Does that make sense? How many here are great at something? Come on, great at something. They wanna get paid a lot more money for what you're great at, yes or no? 
yes. and start right away. Because as we put this together, own the vision. Say, I have really big things to do. Turn left to right and say, watch out, I'm coming. You're damn right. The second piece of this is so important also, it's called get empowered. You gotta have the right tools, the right systems. So let me give you a few things on the system side, right? These are all non-negotiable. You've gotta have a website that converts. You gotta be on page one of Google. You gotta learn the power of SEO. You have to have a good Facebook page. On your Facebook page, this is so important, is you have to learn how to generate leads right through social media. So on Facebook, I highly recommend, once again, get the business page set up as an author, drive it through there. But also, put good content on there. You're gonna find that people with the best content tend to sell the most. They get the most followers. If you're on Instagram, there's a branding service called Pixly. P-I-X-L-E-E. It's a great thing that actually allows your pictures to become ads. Picture clicks right to your offer. But on Instagram, this is a big one, everybody, use autoresponders. How many of you guys have autoresponders on your Instagram account? Wow. If you don't, you're wasting your time. See, Instagram's not a show, does that make sense? Instagram's a business tool, when it's used properly. So after they become your friend or they follow you, it takes them right to an email that says, here's a master class. Here's five minutes on this, 10 minutes on this. Don't sell anything, just give them what? More content. Because if they love your content, they'll buy more, yes or no? Yes. Now, once we've got that done on Instagram, how many guys use LinkedIn? Anybody use LinkedIn? Any LinkedIn users here? Okay, so how many guys use, uh, there's, a, there's a new service called uh, Linked Helper. Have you guys seen that one, yes or no? Wow, nobody. So Linked Helper gives you the same demographics you have on Facebook, except Linked Helper is like 20 bucks a month with Sales Navigator used together. It can send out 300 emails per day to your perfect customer on LinkedIn. All for $20, $20 a month, is that pretty good? I'm telling you right now, everything we'll teach in the program, write this down, say learn it, say do it, and delegate it. How many people wanna buy back your time, big time? Stop doing things that are less than 50 bucks an hour. Stop doing things that make you get real busy, right? The more you outsource this, how many here would like more leads every day, but qualified leads? Who would like more sales every day? And put it through an automated process, yes or no? Because this is where it comes. If you don't have the right systems, I believe systems win, people fail. How many of you guys are doing video marketing at all? Anybody doing video marketing? How many of you guys use InShot? InShot, one. InShot's one of the hottest new apps of 2017 for video marketing. All you do is you take your always one minute videos, you upload to InShot, you put your text opt-in inside the video. Inside the video, it takes less than five minutes. Once you do that, it goes into InShot, you push one button, it goes to all your social channels. Well, that'd be kind of cool. It's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all at once. So the idea is keep the videos under a minute, make them where there's an opt-in screen, and the opt-in's always the content. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.